Oh god. Oh god. Ah, it's okay. I'm good. Don't worry. On the way. It's gonna pop the balloon. You ready? One, two, and. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and yesterday I reorganized my living room. Honestly, the feng shui in this place is so much better now. It's just so much more open. You know what I mean? Honestly, the whole house is really coming together nicely. Anyway, guys, today we're gonna be trying some fun hacks with balloons. This is gonna be a lot of fun. But before I start, guys, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to uh, uh, 20,000 likes. 20,000 likes. 20,000 likes. Also, if you guys like balloons, I actually made a video where I fill 10,000 balloons with $10,000. that video uh, you can click right here it was a fun one it it was uh, pretty intense I'm also gonna put it down in the description down below so uh, uh, you can watch it later watch it after this video anyway let's do some hacks with balloons So this one is a little bit more complicated. <laughs> we're gonna be making a balloon tower. And the first thing we're gonna need is a piece of cardboard. But once we have our cardboard, we're gonna wanna get our balloon and make an outline of how big it is. I mean, it's really rough, but uh, I think it might just work. Then we use an X-Acto knife to cut out the hole. Ah! Okay, this time. Yes, it worked. Now, in theory, this is the perfect size for the balloon. Okay, it's a little off. You know what? It's fine. And the reason we do this is to make them all consistent. Boop, boop, boop. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna get our balloon pump. Whoa, gosh. We're gonna get our little size thingy and screw it in right here. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull up a chair because I feel like I'm gonna be here for a while. So the trick with this one is uh, two of the colors have to be the same. Okay, let me tie them together. And that's one down. Well, I guess uh, two down technically. <laughs> here we go. Make it about 15 feet tall, or uh, in other words, as tall as my craft mystery. Well, let's see what we can do. It looks like they just kind of got two of them and put them together like this. Looks pretty good. I need a weight, so I think I'm just gonna use this can of paint. Then we just tie it to the can of paint like that. Looks good. Then the orange, a little bit of yellow. There we go. Yeah, it's not looking bad so far. But can we make it 15 feet tall? Oh gosh, come back. Oh, this thing's getting pretty tall. So I think the next logical step is to get a step ladder. Help me, step ladder, I'm stuck. What are you doing, step ladder? Actually, I don't even know if a step ladder will help me. Because it's already basically hitting the ceiling. So I guess I'm just gonna have to start uh, making it out the door. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Ah! Okay, so it ended up being a little bit longer than 15 feet. <laughs> Which I mean, is not really that bad? But the only downside to this is it's not gonna stand up by itself. And that's why I'm gonna put some helium in the top balloons. Oh, okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh gosh. Let's tie these two together. Oh boy, there we go. We'll put these into four. Yup, it's definitely helium. I feel like I'm gonna need more than four balloons to make this thing float. Oh, I mean, it's definitely doing something. I'm gonna need more balloons. I have to try and do this without making them fly away. Come on, this is probably gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Oh, you can do it. I just dropped my camera. The light broke off, that's not good. This was my favorite light. I'm really hoping that adding these last eight balloons will work because this is the last of my helium. 
Okay guys, you're ready to find out if this is gonna work? I'm gonna let it go in three, two, woo! Go up, go up, go up, it's okay. I think I actually made it so tall that it hit my ceiling. Oh, what the heck am I gonna do with all these balloons now? I just have a giant balloon dragon just in my foyer now. So I actually got it to stand up and oh my gosh, this is actually really cool. Look at that, it goes all the way to my ceiling. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Whoa! No, I did not! Pull up a balloon! Fly out of the sky and fly up to the battle line! There's something here from somewhere else! The war machine is back to life! Opens up one day to run! The voice of us on the sky! It's time to die! Call up a balloon! Let's go! Fly! So first things first, I'm gonna need to get myself a good piece of wood. Luckily, I have lots of spare wood in my garage. Just kidding, that's not all of it. Uh, it's actually over there. It's gonna be a little bit uh, of a challenge to get to it, but it's something I'm willing to do. Oh my gosh. Oh. The best wood is up there. I'm just trying to get the best wood for the job, okay? Oh. What do we got here? Oh yes, perfect. I really need to find a better way to store my wood. But mission success. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prop up this wood with some other wood. There we go. So I don't have a lot of nails. All I have really are these little guys and also these little guys. <laughs> Get it, fingernails? <laughs> so I'm gonna use these little guys and hammer them in with a little hammer. You know, tiny nails require a tiny hammer. So that's what uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna use these pliers to really make sure that I don't uh, break my finger. We're all done with the scary nail part. <laughs> Here's our balloon. Now it's time to see if it's gonna pop the balloon. You ready? One, two, and... Oh wow! It's not popping! This is crazy! I'm actually kind of impressed. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this actually works. I wonder if it works the other way. <gasps> <laughs> Wow. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off with a little game called ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Not for resale, apparently. This was one of my favorite games growing up as a kid. And I was on the search for this game for a sec and I found a copy. But it's all scratched up, so it doesn't even play. So I guess that's a good excuse to use. And we're gonna go ahead and get a Coke bottle and cut off the top. Looks good. Now we just have to uh, hot glue it to the top. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so in theory, once I put this balloon on here, Oh no! The hot glue's not cooled down yet. It should make it into a hovercraft. Are you ready? One, two, and... Oh gosh, that was kind of fun. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. But out on my foyer on the floor so I can like kick it around. <laughs> okay guys, you ready to see how far this thing will go when I kick it? <laughs> Is that really all we get? I mean, it kinda worked. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, uh, I, I guess it kinda works. <laughs> I'm kinda tempted to make a giant one now. If you guys are interested in seeing that, uh, let me know down in the comments down below, and also get this video to 15,000 thumbs up. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to say it works. We're gonna take a candle and light it up, then inflate another balloon and see what happens when you hold it over the flame. As expected, it pops straight away and actually blows out the candle. Next, take another balloon, and this time we're gonna fill it 
with water, like this. <laughs> Tie a knot when you're done. Then take the balloon and try holding it above the candle again. You can see this time it doesn't pop and you can actually hold the balloon right down into the flame. The water inside the balloon keeps it cool, so the balloon itself isn't actually affected by the flame. All that happens is the balloon gets black. Oh, okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a candle. Well, I guess we could say it's lit. I'm quitting, I'm quitting. So according to them, if we put this balloon over the candle, it'll pop. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Ah, okay. It's okay, I'm good, don't worry. I just saw my life flash before my eyes. But if we fill it with water on the other hand. Guys, I know my sink is dirty. Stop judging me. Like what do you expect at this point, jeez. Two thousand years later. Okay, now in theory, this shouldn't pop. Now, I'm really hoping that this is true because I have a lot of things on my desk that could get ruined if this were to pop. So, we're risking it all, I guess. Oh, wow! It's working! This is kind of scary. I don't want to do it for too long because I feel like it's gonna pop. Oh, gosh! It's like lack on the bottom. Oh, what the heck? That's so weird. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. <laughs> Well, might as well do something with this water balloon, am I right? Okay, bombs away! Oh, that was anticlimactic. We're gonna take some white vinegar and pour it into a plastic bottle, like this. Then take a balloon and a funnel and stretch the balloon over the end of the funnel. Next, we need some baking soda and we're gonna put two tablespoons down the funnel into the balloon. When you're done, take the balloon off the funnel and stretch it over the top of the bottle. Then lift the balloon up to empty the baking soda into the bottle. This starts an instant reaction which produces carbon dioxide and inflates the balloon. Pretty cool, huh? Okay guys, so instead of using a little balloon, we're gonna go ahead and use a giant balloon. And along with using a giant balloon, we're gonna use a bunch of vinegar and baking soda. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by putting the vinegar inside of this bottle. I'm sorry it's kind of loud, my AC is on. I hate the smell of vinegar, so this is awful. Okay, this is about three quarters full. And this is a 32 ounce flask. Next we're gonna get our baking soda and carefully put it inside of our balloon. I definitely prefer the smell of baking soda because it doesn't really smell like anything. Hey baking soda, you got this. There we go, I put the whole thing in. That's three and a half pounds. So now I have to carefully put the top of this on just like that. Now I went ahead and got a zip tie, so all I have to do is zip tie it right on. Okay guys, I'm kinda nervous. I feel like this is gonna get everywhere, so I'm gonna move it away from the camera. Make sure that zip tie is nice and tight. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's inflating. It's inflating more and more as I let the baking soda, oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Is this really as big as it's gonna get? I'm gonna shake it up. What? Dude, I put so much vinegar and baking soda in this. It's kind of a bummer. I was hoping it was gonna get ginormous. I mean, it is getting a little bit bigger. You can do it. What a bummer. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works, but I thought that the balloon was gonna get a lot bigger. This is one of the balloons that I used uh, in the video where I filled it with water and I went inside of it. I'm killing over guys, it's pulling me back. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click right here. Dang, this was so anticlimactic. Maybe I should have done it with even more vinegar. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. I'll some of this fight right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys wanna watch me try more fun life hacks and crafts, I actually have a whole playlist that you can watch right here. If you wanna watch me do even more fun hacks with balloons, you can click this playlist, or you can click these two mystery cards. It's all great stuff, I promise. Also, if you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Turn on the bell, turn on notifications, all that fun stuff. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward Eddie. Okay, bye. Ah!